Hey guys, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7! Last time when we were here, we had literally just managed to max out, uh, not Cloud, all of Sid's skills. Ooh, his spirit's low and his strength's low. What's going on with that? But anyway, we've managed to max out most of his skills. Over here, we've done the same with Vincent. Why are suddenly some skills lower? I have changed his weapon, and I suppose I have put up a whole a bunch of death penalties and stuff. Let's, let's go and have a look. Vincent is at strength 153. Now, hopefully, I should somewhere in here have a whole bunch of cat power sources. One, two, right? That that should be fine. That should be fine. That should then max out Vincent's power. Okay, so it is obviously one of the ones that we cannot. Magic, 247. Let's go back down here. Uh, today, we will be facing Ruby Weapon, 247, right? Uh, I just wanted to have all these guys maxed out. Magic, 251. Wow, what is going on? So, what I need to do now is spend a little bit of time going around maxing out these final few skills, but also, I need to kill Sid and Vincent so that we can go and take on Ruby Weapon. Okay, let's make sure that I'm not wasting my time here. Magic of 251. If we... No. <laughs> if we come to item and go all the way down. Man, it took me a while to get this, uh, this singular magic source here. Most of the time all the things that I'd set up to fight Ruby kept on getting in the way, like the magic counters and stuff like that. So 251. Yeah, I kept on like killing the things we needed. 252. Okay, cool. So we're not wasting our time. I'm also running around in this experimental room uh, rather than the main cargo room as it appears to have a better turnover of the ones that I'm after. I'm not after mine source. In fact, I'm after this guy here almost exclusively. Now, the way that I've been dealing with this, we go Vincent, laser for the half damage. Um... Oh, what's he gonna do? That's all right. I'll take that. I'll take that. And then, ah, oh, this is this is what I mean. So normally Sid's not the one that gets attacked. I've, I've got like double attacks set up for the counter, which is a, a little annoying when you're trying to morph everything. All I needed to do was morph four of these. Th four of these. What are they? Unknown number two, something like that. The magic using unknowns. And um, yeah, I keep getting stuck in these long, long, long um, summons. Summons are the words I'm looking for here. Because I've set these up to counter Ruby. They're the ones that do full damage against Ruby Weapon. So I was like, yes, of course I will put magic, magic counter down with those. And then obviously we found out at the beginning of the episode that I needed to just top up a few guys. Despite me actually already of topping them up to 255 as far as I was aware. I, I, I thought I'd got them got it for everyone apart from like a few guys who like couldn't top out their power for some reason I, I assume it's like a weapon or an armor stat or something like that to stop me top out but yeah all right well that was that far. I'm gonna gonna break Sid's materia and then we'll go and try that again okay a magic of 252 we go into items go all the way down to the bottom of the list get the things that we've been collecting and go one two three that should now hopefully have Matt Vincent maxed out. So it says one vitality, two strength. Okay, I'm going to go put those in, even though I know the outcome of this. But I've got enough here to, to do this. So one, two strength and one vitality, right? That's, that should, in all theory, have maxed him out to 255. But no, we've still got the deficits in strength and vitality. Uh... Cloud, nicely maxed out. Sid, okay, let's do the same. A two in strength, one in vitality. Let's just make sure. And I'm talking far, far too much here. We need to go and fight Ruby Weapon. But there we go. I've, I've now put in those little items there. And no, still. So we are the best we're ever going to be. I'm going to take a moment to save, make sure all my materials are sorted out, sort my inventory out, do some preparations, and then I'll see you up top. All right, here we go. This is probably the last time I'm going to fight him, win or lose. If I lose, I'm just going to keep holding the save file and do it again at some other point. But we're going to move on to the final bit of the game after this episode. All right, let's do this. A ruby weapon. I've gone through a few preparations beforehand, as I say. I've uh, maxed everyone out. I've also gone and killed Sid and Vincent. Also, at the top of my W items, you can see we've got Dazers and Mega Elixirs here. That's pretty good. Okay, so he's straight away in with putting his hands down in the... What's this stuff called? Down in the sand. 
Uh, the fact that this is all is not amazing. I've just managed to cast it upon myself. This is not great. Maybe what I should have done was gone for a double uh, Angel Whisper. When was the last time I saved it? <laughs> let's, let's try and think about this, shall we? <laughs> Okay, no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. No problem. Like, if any mistakes are going to be made right here at the beginning, uh, definitely the play. Have I literally just cast it on myself again? There were there were three choices. Two of them were good. One of them was bad. He chose bad each time. That's like against the odds of chance. There. That that that's quite the thing. All right. Well, anyway, we need to try and get these other guys up. So we need to think about better ways of doing this. Perhaps Angel Whisper is the way. I'm a little bit worried that you know maybe this. This is going to go bad, um, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, enemy skill, Angel Whisper over this side. Let's get that going. Did I just like go and hit him for no apparent reason? Angel Whisper, here we go. D no, no, no Tetra Flare, no Giga Flare. I've got that uh, magic counter. That's that's where I've got that. All right, uh, Cloud's going to once again White Whisper over that way, and Vincent's going to do his W summon. Here we go. This is where uh, some sort of uh, strategy comes into play. We go Hades and then Knights of the Round, and we're going to have to wait a long time for, for this you you guys are aware did I just literally angel whisper him again that is uh, that's good work let's let's queue up the Sid um, Sid go there what I actually want to be doing is also get my uh, what's the word that I'm looking for dazers on I've got dazers and mega elixirs in like massive stacks uh, well I say massive stacks 99s so I would uh, like to do that now this is good <sighs> You guys remember this from the last fight, right? It's going to take a long time. Hmm, not, so I think we're on the last Hades here of this group of four. And I've noticed something very interesting. The first one only hit Ruby Weapon himself. But the next three went ahead and hit the tentacles as well. Now, I don't really want to kill those tentacles. Because whilst the tentacles are in the floor, he can't do well, Sand. And that's that's the time. Though, um, this game is a buggy nightmare, I hear. So sometimes he can do well, Sand, while his uh, tentacles in there. But that that's like super legit a bug uh, so oh no it was only the three so the strategy as I was saying you can see that Ruby weapon is not moving at all there that's great that's cool that's exactly what I want he has been paralyzed by Hades which means that when the Knights of the Round comes in he won't be doing his magic counter Ultima which obviously is a little bit of a problem when he uh, counters with Ultima uh, I, we very rarely see that in this fight because we got on the dazers and the paralyze and all that sort of stuff fairly early on so thankfully it's not a thing we have to worry about too much his feet look really super weird I mean I suppose it's just what they could get away with on the the polygon count but uh, there we go right and here we go this is the one that gives us the real damage this should hopefully net us 13,000 points something like that um, and if we can do that no, 130,000 points. So how many nights are the round? That would make 10 of these, like, at a rough estimate. It, it's not. It's actually something like 8. Um, so let, let's see if we can do it. Every round we'll do Vincent going Hades and Knights of the Round, and then that should work out beautiful. Uh, Going to try and talk my way through the entirety of this Knights of the Round so we can watch how many actually happen. I should have been counting as well, uh, so that, that would have been useful. Hopefully someone in the comments can tell me how many times in a row this hit. Oh, man, another comment hit. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I, again, we're going to have to try and figure out... Oh. That was one short. Uh, that was like 50 short of all the nines. What what was going on with that? What was going on with that? Why why is that so weak? I'm literally maxed out. I can tell you why it's so weak. So we can max out our stats at 255. That that is the maximum that any player can have. It's trying to steal an instrument limit or something like that, right? It's like just the max number. But somehow Ruby Weapon has 480 this goes out the side this this is like bigger than the bounds of what you should be able to do in this game no not me Bahamut. we'll go hades again followed by uh you're there knights of the round all right brilliant just like that now sid is going to do w item dazers we can't at the moment but he's going to do dazers followed by mega elixir but we've got another four of these to go and this is why i didn't really want to use this strat in the first the first two fights that we did because it's just just sitting around waiting for the vast majority of this fight uh, and we we've done hades so often and we've done ruby weapon three times now I mean, you can see all the items that i've managed to collect up here we've got dazers though they're the ones that cause the paralyzed if i have a look paralyzes one opponent mega elixirs 
We know Mega Elixirs, they're pretty good. Darkness is actually a thing I'm told works out. Let, let's try that. Let's ink. Ah, I nearly got away with it. Uh, X, uh, X Potion and Turbo Ethers. I should have probably have maxed these out as well, just in case. But I've got a full max, a full max stack of Mega Elixirs, so I think we'll be all right. Okay, so on the next drop, because we're Hadesing constantly here, I will try and do uh, the ink. I don't know if Hades actually does inflict darkness or not. Uh, I'm not sure how to check that out either. Um, I suppose finding the book that's around somewhere. Bam! <coughs> All right. I'm, oh, excuse me, clear my throat there. I'm keeping track of how many times we see that Knights of the Round. I'd like to know how many. And wouldn't it be great if we could sense this guy? I'm, I'm going to give it a go. It's pretty rubbish. Okay, there goes an ink. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty rubbish, sorry. Uh, and the darkness hit. Love it. Love it. All right, so we're going to once again do a Hades, followed by a bah No, not a Bahamut. I keep trying to do that instead. Nothing to steal, and the sense didn't seem to work. E even slightly. Even slightly. Once again, we're going to try with the days as a mega elixir, but bam, we've got to get through some more stuff. Uh, let's take a moment to come back here. Uh, are we likely to be running out of hit points? Uh, not hit points, materia points at any time soon? No. No, I, I don't think we are, actually. So I was trying to find out what Hades does, and it turns out uh, every source that I can find, that was a miss, that's fine, only uh, lists it as various uh, various status effects, which is rubbish. And it would have made sense if I had given Cloud uh, the same Master Summon as everyone else so that I could get him pumping out a lot of power as well. Instead, we've got to make do with Pandora's box here. Uh, we can do a Hades, can we do a Knights of the Round? Wow, we... we can't normally select stuff like that at this point, so that, that's pretty good. All right, let's try the ink and the Mega Elixir again. Uh, yeah, 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 we're just going to ink and Mega Elixir it. So there's an ink, there's a Mega Elixir. Um, here come some more Black Cauldrons. Did that actually do... I, I, didn't, I didn't pay attention to the amount of damage that was done. Hopefully, it should be quite a bit. But here we go, fourth round of Hades and Knights of the Round. Um, still not even done a dent in Vincent's MP count. Uh, we did, I, I think I just just fell short just slightly of getting up to all the nines, four, four nines, which is a bit weird as Vincent is at max stats, 255 across everything he can. So like, why is his life low? I, I don't know. I mean, I did fill him up with summons, but then I also countered that with an HP plus. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, I thought I'd have a look in the book to see what the uh, the status effects for Hades were. It says various status effects. So I was like, all right, fair enough. I can't tab out, but maybe I can use my phone. And I went and go and had a look at the various uh, two different wikis that I've been using for reference during this uh, entire playthrough. And it turns out both of those also just say various status effects, which uh, strikes me as weird. I mean, it's not like they give them... Uh, um, I don't know, like Fury or Regen or anything like that. So it's not various. They're like I've never seen. No, no, it, it does turn people into toads or like people, bad guys, into toads. So I suppose that is on the list as well. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see the full extensive list. Maybe, maybe what we can do is when we're done, strip all the material off of everybody, put down Hades plus a um, added effect on either someone's weapon or armor, and see what is induced or protected against, depending on whether I put it on the weapon or armor. Hmm, yeah, that, that might be a way. Hmm, maybe next time round, because I think I've already set Sid off with what he's going to do. Uh, maybe next time round I should let Sid wait and then just do a mine with Cloud? That sounds like a plan, right? That does indeed sound like a plan. One that I'm probably going to try to follow through with now. So we're going to do the um, Pandora's box like normal. So the ink missed because it was already in effect. That's fine. And now we're going to... We're not going to wait. We're going to do this. Hades, go. And Knights of the Round, go. Uh, and then we're, we're going to wait here. This is the point we're going to wait. We're going to tell Sid that whilst... Oh, Oh, we could just get Sid on it, and then Cloud could throw some stuff. I don't know who is the stronger magic user. That is that is a question right there. Because like, if I just keep going through with mimes, I don't think anybody... Uh, I don't think he's going to get a go at any point, because he just keeps getting hit with the Hades, right? But, oh, man, that is long. I don't know if I want to do it that way, because... I don't want to cut this up so often. At the same time, I did talk uh, far too long at the beginning of the episode, so it, like, I've probably put in a few hits uh, up until this point, and it, that, that's all you really need to see, right? Like this, this, this extended, extended uh, cutscene, which is essentially what it is, this playthrough scene here. Uh, that, that's, that's, that's not. 
the best to watch, right? Okay, so this is number five, I think, if, if I've been keeping track correctly. Uh, the thing is, like, this process in and of itself takes forever. So I can put down the mark on my little tally chart that I've got going here at the beginning of the Knights of the Round. Oh, yeah, he's going to pull it off as well. So we've got three... Uh, I'm kind of, like, waving fingers around. We've got three mines on the go here. So this should be number six, and the next one's number seven. And that must be getting close to his max HP, right? That, that's got to be getting somewhere near it. I, I kind of hope so. I kind of hope so. I'm going to take the moment during this next cut here to try and find Ruby Weapon's max health. Um, because I, I can't remember if it's one or two a million, uh, but I can actually type and talk at the same time, it turns out. The problem with the Hades is that it does such a little amount of actual damage, whereas it's all about this at the end here, the um, Knights of the Round. Ultimate end. Which, uh, they, they like the word ultimate in Final Fantasy. It's a, it's a thing to watch out for. Like, we got Ultima and, like, Ultimate End. I'm surprised this isn't Ultimate Weapon. No, there was an Ultimate Weapon out there. Like, Cloud Weapon. Cloud Super Weapon is the Ultimate Weapon. Uh, so, that, like, Ultimate. Very, very well used in this game. Very well used in this game. I found the page, but, yeah, there we go. Stats. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Let's have a look. Other information. Stats. HP. 800,000. Oh, man. Oh, we're, we're probably nearly done already then. This is number six. Um, is this Mr. Big Cape? No, we're not We're not at Mr. Big Cape yet, but man, we, we're getting close. 5,000 AP. Um, hopefully that will max out some things that I would have liked to have had extras of. Uh, things like Final Attack and Hades and Knights of the Round and things like this. Uh, Bahamut Zero in particular. He was going to be my backup. Um, he was going to be the thing I did instead of mining all the time uh so eh. hades oh i can't i can't put it down yet yeah so um because I, I just i don't know i don't know what it is i personally do not like mine uh, i i don't know it just it seems like a, a tragic oh oh wow almost seemed too easy this time but you know that's why we went and put down that massive massive amounts of prep oh yeah look at that i don't know if you guys saw the achievement pop up there but mm -mm, ruby weapon achievement nice hp plus was born hades was born I i've got a feeling everything is going to be born quadra magic let's let's just sit here and watch ah uh, oh uh, is that it we got the desert rose oh we have someone we can go and give that to. Hey, yeah. Let's go and do that first before we finish up here. The Desert Rose, of course, is at, for the guy at Calm. Calm. I, I don't know. Calm is just kind of how I pronounce it. Uh, let's go over this way. That's uh, Midgar over there. I always forget that Midgar is so, like, up north. Look how far up I am on the continent map. I, I keep, for some reason, thinking it's, like, where Junyun is. Um, okay, so we get out there, get out here. Let, let's go and have a look at this dude. Hey, dude. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, can we even remember what what room it was? Was it this one? I, kept, I got a feeling I keep running into this one and then ending up not being here. Hi. Oh, no, no, it is right. Hey, buddy, how's it going? You want the Desert Rose? I hear. Oh, it's the Desert Rose. Want to it, trade it for that Chocobo over there? Sure. Sure. Okay, then. It's a done deal. Nice. Awesome. We've got... Wait, where... Where did you have it? What, what's it doing there? I guess it's time to go on a journey for the souls of my departed friends. All right, buddy. Well, that's nice, actually. We, we've, we've enabled him to get off on his, uh, his tracks around the world. Ah, oh, I like that. Can we get on the chocobo? <whistles> Looks like my stable's full. I'll come back when I have room. What? What? All right, let's go and do that. Let's go. Like, I, I don't think we're quite at the end of the episode yet. We probably are. We're probably like massively overshot. That's what. That's normally what happens. Uh, I, I aim for a 20 minute episode and then suddenly 40 minutes later, you guys are still there sat watching it. Thanks very much for that, guys, by the way. Um, I know recently the episode format has been a little bit all over the place, but it's with the, the, the extra grind and stuff that I have to put in. It um, gives me some very disjointed bits of footage so I don't quite realise how much I have been, like, waffling on to myself. Which is probably what's happened here. Right, what are you? Uh, Choco, cl uh, class A. Mm, okay, what are you? Hey, can I, please? Um, w boy, class S male. We got we got a lot of, like, normal Choco. Let's get rid of the normals. I, li I like the coloured guys. Let's do this. Uh, I want to release... 
Which Chocobo are you going to let go? It, it's scary, right? There's Choco Class A. I mean, Class A is not a Class S. I think that's probably what we're going to go for is the Class A, right? Yeah, there we go. There's a Class S there. And, of course, there's Gladys, our female top-notch Chocobo. And this must be our new one. Oh, no, no, no. Is that is that really it? Choco, male, Class A. Let's double check because I've lost track of stuff. <laughs> Choco, male, class A. All right, that, that's, that is exactly the one we want to get rid of. Let's, let's just make sure. Okay, releasing. Which one are you going to release? Bye-bye, Choco. Go ahead. All right, good. Nice. It'll be sad. Like, it will be sad. So one of these is Gladys's. That's, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Let's go and run on out of here. All right, Gladys, my favourite chocobo, has to be said. And then we're going to go have a word with the guy in calm. Now, is there anything else we need to do before we finish the game? I don't think there is. I think the entire list of stuff that I had has either been done or is unobtainable. And we'll talk about the unobtainable things next episode, because we're going to have a whole load to walk through here. Um... And not much to talk about. So, yeah, I, I will definitely talk about my regrets of the set of the uh, season playthrough. I've got a, I've got a few. Uh, oh man, what are we gonna what are we gonna call this? This is um, this is Kami, right? Kami. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Uh, where where is K A? No, not not you. Wait, is there a quicker way of deleting? There must be. There must be. Um, let's, let's go with an IE. Let's go with an IE. Why not? I have no idea whether this is a male or a female. Uh, select. Kami can be, like, both, right? Uh, that must be. That must be. By the way of that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this final, well, penultimate adventure. I will see you guys next time where we're going to make our way down the North Cave. We're going to... Go find Sephiroth. off. We're gonna you see you see where where is where's that meteor gone? We're gonna kick it out the sky anyway. But I will see you then when we're gonna do that. Bye.